Alright guys, welcome to another DTX Mania tutorial and before we start, I would like to request that if this tutorial has helped you, please press the like button and for more tutorials and weekly rhythm gameplay videos, please press the subscribe button. Thank you very much. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install a new DTX Mania skin. So what we have here is a DTX Mania X chain skin called DTX Chain, made by the great Blind Rob from the DTX Mania Discord community. I have provided the link to his Twitter account as well, as he did a really good job on this skin. I'll show you some screenshots here, and as you can see, it really looks neat and nice. From the startup wallpaper, to options, loading screen, the node chips themselves, and even the stats and the result screen. Really well done. So just click here on click to download, and once downloaded, open the zip file. I'll just open up my DTX menu folder, then go inside the system folder. Then we drag the DTX chain folder from my zip program to the system folder. Now we load DTX Mania. Go to configuration, then go to system. Go up a bit. Then here in skin general, we just press enter a few times until we see the DTX chain skin. Now that it is selected, we press escape twice and then the changes will instantly take effect. So there we go, we are now using a DTX chain skin. Let's play a song for a while and see how it goes. And it runs perfectly. Let's press escape for now. Now I'll quit the program and discuss one more thing. Did you know that you can actually change the font DTX Mania uses for the song list? I'll show you how and thanks to Blind Rob for teaching this awesome trick. So here's the font that Blind Rob recommends. So we're just going to download this font. Then we will extract the fonts temporarily here in my desktop. The fonts all end with TTF, so that's what we're going to copy. Now I select all four fonts, then I right click, then press install. After the window disappears, the font has been successfully installed. I can now delete these font files. There's one final thing to do. We need to tell DTX Mania to use the font we just installed. Okay, so let's go to my DTX Mania folder here and let's open config.ini. I will just press Ctrl F to search. So we're going to type font. There, found it. So we need to change these two entries, the display font name and select list font name to Hansel, the font we just installed. Finally, we change the select font size to 23. And that's it. Now let's load DTX Mini again and check out if the font has been loaded. And there we go. It's loaded. Now you can see we're using a different font from the song select list and a new skin for DTX Mania. 